If g in terms of x is 7 over x plus 2, then what is the inverse of this function g? Well, let's start by replacing the g in terms of x with y, and then we'll switch the x and y variables around. And this is the inverse. So let's go further and isolate the variable y. We want to get this y plus 2 off the bottom here. And the opposite of dividing by y plus 2 is to multiply by y plus 2. And they cancel. And yes, we're left without a fraction. Now, there are two approaches from this point that we could take. We could divide both sides by x, and that's a nice move forward. And others might want to distribute the x. Well, let's go with the distribution approach, just to show that it works out fine, even though it has an extra step or two. Always good to look for the easiest solution, but it's also good to be confident that as long as you're using legitimate steps, you can arrive at the right answer multiple ways. So, distributed, we would have xy plus 2x equals 7. Now, to get rid of the plus 2x, we subtract 2x. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Continuing to get the y by itself, well, we're multiplying by x, so the opposite of that is to divide by x. And again, whatever we do to one side, we also do to the other. And this leaves the y by itself, so we have our answer. So let's replace the y with our typical inverse notation. And we're done.